we'll discuss about the unbent features. So here we'll see how the reference automatically selected and reference manually also you can select and different surface and edges how to keep it fixed and approach the unbending with respect to that that all we'll see. So this is the conditions and after unbend you see this as the output and when you perform certain operations like cut out and then you again bend back it. So this combined scenario will study and will understand the options. This is the very important operation which you can see. So after doing these operations you can bend back and you can get this. So I'll show both these operations in brief. Then we'll move to the conversions method. So we'll go to the CRIO and we'll open our reference model for doing this. This is the model. So when you have this model and you go to bend back. So whatever the flat surface you have that you can bend back. So for bend back operations you have to go for first the on bend operation then only you can use the bend back. So let us go to on bend first and when you go to unbend, you have the unbend and you can see this is the scenario and typically you can select the reference whatever the reference plane you need to keep it fixed that you can select and deformations also you can select the deformations area and distinct areas you can define deformations control you can do the typical ripping areas and all and in case of option create the relief geometry also you can select. So let us say this is the output which I'll accept it after doing this, I will do the operations over this. So I will go to extrude, placement define and I will select this surface. I will align this and typically I am looking for operation over this. So I will go for the corner rectangle. I will drill a cut here and I will go to circle and I will create a circular feature. Then I will go to delete segment and this segment I will be deleting and this is the shape which I am looking for. I will cut out this and after cutting this I will back to my shape again. So here you can go to the bend back and you will be done with your features and you can control the bend if typically you need to have otherwise by default it will operate and now you will be with your final object and now when you go for unbend to a typical area I don't need for unbending all the areas. Here you can see the reference selections manually. When you select the reference manually that all options will be removed and only that options will be selected and here you can do the operations and then you can go to bend back. Let us say I will go for a punch here. Go to palette and you can have a typical profile here. I will decrease the size and I will close it. Go for OK and this is cut. Now I can go to the bend back and go for OK. In this way you can go for the bend back and when you go for on bend and typically you need bend back of particular portion then you can go to bend back and go to manual selection and this typical radius I don't need this I don't need so that all you can include or exclude from your selections so how to do that that I will show you so I'll go to the bend back and here you can see the reference this planner face fixed is selected and when you go to this typical selection manually selected here you can see all the on bend surface this I don't want to include this I don't want to include only I need to see this then I can accept it and only that portions will be done and again I can go to bend back and here I can select a typical surface which I am looking for and which I can include and which I can exclude that I can select and I can go for this operation so this is very important and when you select this unbend and bend back simultaneously this you can use for your purpose. You can see your flatten preview also. You can see the flatten preview and where 
you can directly see your preview for geometry you can directly see the dimensions here you can also see the create instance if you need and directly this will be your overlapping geometry anything if displayed and here you can see the flattened form this is the flattened form that directly you can see out of this so this is the new additions to your creo in earlier wildfire 5 and other persons you don't have this options and typically they have en enhanced the bend options flat patterns directly when you go to flat patterns here also you'll get couple of advanced enhancement next we'll be discussing in our coming session about the conversion process which you use in sheet metal thank you